In this video, you are going to learn how to brute force web applications using Hydra. Hydra is a command line based logging cracker which supports several popular protocols we can attack. It is very fast, flexible and new modules are easy to add. Its extensible features and ability to attack remote targets makes Hydra a prominent weapon in a hacker's toolkit, especially for starting hackers that do not have a professional Burp Street license. Hydra's ability to brute force HTTP forms becomes priceless. We are going to demonstrate an attack on a WordPress web application. To start the attack, first we need to get the exact request that is sent to the server during login. We can get this request by looking at the source code or we can perform a login and capture the request with a tool that allows us to proxy the traffic, like Burp Suite. To capture the request, we start a Burp Suite and go to the URL which contains the WordPress login. We then enable the proxy and try to log in. Now that we have captured the request, we have all the information we need to execute the brute force attack. The first thing we need to supply to Hydra is the username and password flags. For the username, we use the L flag. Notice that we are writing the lowercase since the uppercase L means that we want to use a word list. Next comes the flag for the password. As you can see here, we are using an uppercase P as the flag. Just like the user flag, the uppercase means we are going to use a word list. The word list we are using here is created using Cool. To get more information about Cool, you can check the information panel in the top right. The syntax for an HTTP post form is as follows. The section highlighted in red is optional. First, we need to add the service name that we just looked up the syntax for. We have seen that the WordPress site is using a post request on a form. So we select the HTTP post form as a service and then place a colon so we can pass arguments to the service command. The first argument is the URL. This URL must be an absolute URL. If it's a file that needs to be targeted, make sure to select the file and not the directory. We then select our target, localhost wplogin.php. Then after we selected it, we place another colon to split the command. The post request itself is the next command. We will need to select in the request which fields we want to brute force. We can use a user and pass text in our request in the positions that we want to brute force. If the command contains special characters, ensure to encapsulate the request using quotation marks. The final thing we need to add is the trigger to signal success or failure of the brute force attempts. To do this, we use a string that occurs only if the application is either successfully brute forced or not. In our case, during our invalid login, we noticed that the word incorrect was used. We can now run Hydra to start our brute force attack. The application will show when the password was successfully discovered. If the Hydra brute force attack was successful, we should now have our password and username for the WordPress administrator user. So we can attempt to log in to the WordPress administration console. This concludes this basic Hydra tutorial. If you have questions or comments, please put them below the video.